Peggy 12. Welcome one and all to the fourth volume of our web series Once Upon a Time in the Sims Medieval. Prepare your arm as we discover just how riddled with danger medieval quests can be. But fear not though, as we will also reveal to you the secrets to quest success. But without further ado, let us boldly embark into the ambitious world of the Sims Medieval. In the last episode, we discovered how to design your Sims, customizing costumes, traits, fatal flaws, strengths and weaknesses. In this episode, we're going to see how Sims Medieval has been influenced by role-playing games, as you will see from the array of quests and challenges. Each one of the characters that you play with are charged with various missions, some more important than others. From concocting love potions, to chasing witches, slaying dragons, and resolving conflicts. Hi, my name is Rachel Bernstein. I'm the senior producer for The Sims Medieval. So we take our inspiration for quests from a lot of places. We've got this big design team of very creative guys, and of course they're all gamers, so all the usual things that influence gamers influence them. So Lord of the Rings and Monty Python and uh, Robin Hood and King Arthur. But I'm sure just any zany thing that's going on in their life. Basically they want to make sure that the quests are interesting and have unexpected twists and turns and are fun to play and there's inspiration for that everywhere. Quests are also vital for telling stories. Hence why each available quest has been carefully crafted into the overall arc of the game, the ambition of your kingdom. I'm Aaron Cohen, Senior Marketing Director for The Sims Medieval. Each ambition is made up of lots of quests. The quests are sort of the individual shows. Your king falls in love, your king goes to war, your wizard casts a new spell, uh, there's a lost child and the town has to search for him. Each one is an episode that makes up a season. You can think of the season as one of the kingdom ambitions, be it conquer the, every territory in the map, become a rich kingdom, become a very wise kingdom, become a kingdom that's cured the plague. So each one of those ambitions becomes a season of a TV show. Whenever you take on a quest, you're presented with a basic situation, and then you're given a bunch of different choices or approaches. How do you want the quest to play out? And the reason that we do that is we want the quest to give the players ideas for stories, but we don't want to be dictating the stories to the player. One player might say, hey, there's a witch in town. I don't like witches. I'm going to kill her. Someone else may say, killing her seems kind of too harsh, but I want to take her powers away. And the third one might say, a witch, fantastic. Let's have a wedding. I'll have my king marry her. Each to his own taste, then. The Sims Medieval allows you to tell many a story with your heroes at the heart. The game presents you with choices, starting with which one or more of your heroes will participate in the quest. Each of your ten characters can take part in your adventures, each one giving different options within each escapade. Some Sims may prove more useful than others, depending on the situation. Still, if you choose to have the blacksmith and not the physician heal a poorly Sim, we're not stopping you. I think the recipe for a good quest involves that you want to pose an interesting problem to the player. You want to make sure that as the quest goes on, they are faced with interesting decisions that do have consequences. Uh, you want there to be surprising twists and turns in the quest. And you want to make sure that the rewards that they get, both the experience they earn during the quest, the leveling up, whatever money they might get, and the rewards that they get at the end for completing the quest are satisfying. You heard correctly. Rewards await you at the conclusion of each quest. But only if you've worked hard, your effort will be judged throughout. The better your performance, the bigger your reward. It is with these joyous words that the fourth volume of our ancient book, Once Upon a Time in the Sims Medieval, draws to a close. Join us soon, brave adventurer, for the next episode of your favorite web series as we discover how to manage your kingdom. Learn how the decisions you make can alter the lives of your citizens. All of this next time in the fifth volume of Once Upon a Time in the Sims Medieval. <laughs>